Well, good morning, everybody. It is December 3rd, 2023, and we're gonna do a cruise around, a sun, sunrise cruise around Big Bear, around Big Bear Lake. It's gonna be beautiful. The second half of the cruise is gonna be really beautiful because that's when we'll be going around the lake. Hope you all are having a good morning. Hope you enjoyed the Christmas show last night, the locals Christmas show up in Sugarloaf and uh, wearing one of our new hoodies from Champion. Guys, this thing is so thick and so nice. You guys are gonna be stoked. I'm telling you, you're gonna love the stuff and you'll you'll be helping me out a bunch. You'll be supporting the channel, doing a lot for us. And I I, I could really use it, you know? And as I said, it's, it's, it's quality stuff. You're not gonna be wasting your moolah and also yeah as i said made by champion boom shakalaka it's really really good stuff we are very very fortunate i mean very very fortunate well anyway right now we are on north shore and i'm just gonna keep this a very peaceful and quiet ride after i'm done with uh what i'm talking about so check it out it looks like on the 15th or so I know that's still a long ways away but it looks like potential for some snow I know as I said it's a long way away but just just stick with me here guys just stick with me let me uh, pull out my uh, my phone real quick and just see what we are seeing here for the weather on the 15th By the way, the app that I use that is the uh, pretty much for me has been the most reliable besides bensweather.com because I can't find a Ben's Weather app. I don't know if he has one or not, but I'll ask him. Um, but uh, the Weather Channel app has always been best for me. And uh, so it looks like on the, not the, on the 17th, I'm sorry guys. It looks like we got a little bit of, of weather coming in. Um, it's the last day on the extended forecast here. So nothing too special, but uh, I sure hope something happens. And I'm lucky because a good friend of mine who works at the ski resort, um, I guess this is the first year our resort is offering something called the companion pass for employees and what that is is every employee or I think every employee is going to get a, um, the opportunity to give a friend or family member an annual pass to where I can ski Bear and Summit and Snow Valley all year I, and, and, and I think whenever I want so if that's the case I promise you guys we're going to be doing a, a bit more on the mountain as well I think you guys will be uh stoked about that i really want to get out there after some storms and uh maybe ride ride in some of the snowfall of course that's going to be very busy for me because i i do a lot of videos and a lot of uh capturing of what's going on up here when we do have our snowstorms so i just want to do the best i can for you guys and by the way heidi schmidt thank you so much so i ran into a friend, a fan today, or yesterday at Stater Brothers. And guys, meeting you guys has been an everyday thing now. It's the coolest thing. Every day someone's like, oh my gosh, it's you. <laughs> it's really cool. But anyway, I met Heidi Schmidt at Stater Brothers. Um, thank you for your excitement. And uh, I was just, just as excited to meet you, just like I'm just as excited to meet all of you. And then last night, Heidi Schmidt sent me a $40 Venmo. Um, Heidi, seriously, like, thank you. You guys don't understand how much this is helping me and all the gas that I put into this and my regular business is super slow right now. Like, all the help I can get, I'm super beyond thankful. And I know, as I always say, all of us could, could use the help. So trust me, I don't take it for granted. I am extremely grateful. If you do want to help me out, guys, like, I would be beyond thankful. I'll also be acknowledging you personally on these videos um in the description of the video there's there's my cash app my venmo my p.o box and stuff um i could use as much help as humanly possible
but as I said, so so can we all. So I am extremely grateful. Thanks for that 40 bucks through uh, Venmo, Heidi. And uh, once again, it was a real pleasure to meet you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. All right, so I told you this would be a peaceful cruise. So it's going to start being a peaceful cruise uh, right when we pass this next street. I'm going to try to be very, very quiet. We're hunting peace. Six twenty AM.
go past the dam and come back around that side. I'm really hoping I timed it right. Because I don't want to miss any of the sunrise. And I have a feeling I've said sunset a few times. So forgive me for saying that. Because that would be wrong. way you'll start going down the mountain into the desert and we're going to be going across the whole entire valley right now i just want you guys to see and feel how peaceful it is obviously with me talking it's not that peaceful <laughs> but i will be quieting up a little bit
longest drive in this little area right here. It's a short little 150 yards or so, but you just go through these these beautiful trees right here. It's just it's really really peaceful. Okay, so it's 38 degrees over here. I'm willing to bet when we get to the dam, it's going to be close to freezing. However, usually, you guys, or most of the time, when I'm on this side of town, it's a lot colder over here. I mean, five to seven degrees, and it's the same elevation, only about seven miles apart. There's a donkey. Hey, donkey. Hey, donkey. How you doing, buddy? Here's another beautiful donkey. Let's, uh, let's get a little bit close to, just to say hello. How you doing, beautiful? You are so pretty. Aren't you pretty? You are so pretty. Oh. There's no one behind us, guys, so we don't have to worry about... Come here. Come here, buddy. My gosh, that is so, you are so cute. All right, well, you have a great day, okay, pal? Talk to you later. Oh, they are so precious. They are so precious. Oh, that's like, that, that almost makes me want to cry. Like, like, that was so beautiful. We are so lucky up here. Those beautiful, beautiful beasts roam wild up here. It's just so neat. forget to hit the like button and subscribe I know it sounds redundant and annoying but it really is helpful it really is helpful um, I'll never let you guys down I will always bring you especially when it comes to the weather the most up-to-date weather information for most of your favorite most of yours favorite vacation spot in Big Bear Highway 38 that's how you head down the mountain one direction stay on this road and don't divert at all just stay straight on this road you will end up down the mountain as well so we are in Big Bear City
now it's 30 degrees. I didn't expect it to drop that fast in that short period of time, but it did. I'm telling you guys, this this is like this is like the best, most beautiful time around here. Hardly anyone on the road. Even though it is Sunday and we are packed up here, it's just it feels like off season. do a little sledding again but we're gonna do the nighttime uh, sledding that they offer it looks pretty cool I hope the camera picks it up but that's where we'll be going sledding right there a little nighttime sledding maybe in a couple nights I really want to do it because I think it'll be awesome content. It's just, it, it costs like 40 bucks, no, 45 bucks per person. And who knows if it costs more at nighttime? Probably not, but you never know. Summit on Summit Boulevard. Boom. And if you guys want an amazing cup of coffee, I mean, literally put Starbucks to shame. Starbucks is I don't know. They're about the bottom dollar and making as much money as possible with uh, an okay product, but nothing too too special. I want you guys to check out this place coming up on the right-hand side. I'll tell you when. It's called Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. 
and I did a video of that place, um, talked to the owner for a while, and he explained their whole roasting process, and just, it's, it's the, they roast everything in-house. It's all extremely fresh, and he does not pinch any pennies when it comes to the quality. It's a night and day difference compared to anything else up here. I mean significantly better. But it's hard, it's, it's sometimes hard to see here. So we are, we are, we're coming up to it. Where you see this stoplight right here, this is the fire department. The next driveway after this, right there, Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company, right there. Trust me, you guys. Say hi to Chris, the owner for me. Um, who knows, they might hook you up. They're super good, good people. Care about the tourists because without you guys, I tell you a million times, none of us get to live here. So we need to, I mean, show you guys the respect that you deserve for coming up here and, you know, contributing to our bottom line up here. I was looking at hotel rates for this for this next week during the week um, thinking since it's midweek type rates it's it's not going to be much these places have already started jacking up their prices so i guess like most of december is a holiday according to a lot of these uh, resorts i mean they jacked these prices up and i guarantee you it's going to go way up even more christmas week so just be prepared y'all be prepared I always suggest try to stay in these hotels check in on a Sunday and don't check out any later than Thursday because a lot of the hotels up here consider Thursday a weekend yeah guys it's just crazy so whatever I can do to help you guys save a few bucks there's some great advice right there Great advice right there. We're coming up to another sledding area that has a little roller coaster tube called the mine shaft. On the left hand side. I don't know if sledding's open here yet. It might be. But it, yep, it looks like it is because there's snow all over the hill. for one ride on the uh, on the mine shaft roller coaster and I think it's 40 to 45 dollars for an all-day pass to go sledding if you're gonna be sledding for quite some time well worth it and you don't have to hike back up the hill either they've got uh, motorized walkways that'll pull you up to the top so you can really get in a whole bunch of sledding without wearing yourself out I know some parents want to wear some of their kids out, the ones that are absolutely hyperactive, but unfortunately or fortunately, they're gonna have a fantastic time without getting worn out there. Um, yeah, come up here, enjoy yourselves, guys. We love having you all up here. timing is going to be pretty close because I can see the sun shining on the top of the hill so this is going to be really close by the time we get to the dam and start heading that, that other direction no I don't want to say hello to my little friend let's see here I, I guess I'm actually making a video right now. I'll be done in about 30 minutes or so. How are you doing today, man? All right, sorry about that, guys. something I could do to help you out, man. Make 
holding you in my heart, bro. You're gonna get through this. All right, guys, here's Boulder Bay Park. I love this place. It's one of the most beautiful areas up here. side of town we were at 38 at one point That's Castle Rock Trail. I've done a video of Castle Rock Trail as well. It's, it's a, for me, someone who's completely out of shape, it's not an easy trail. It's not long, maybe like three quarters of a mile to Castle Rock, maybe something like that, but it's very steep most of the way, so it's, it's pretty rough. But that would be in my hiking playlist. windshield isn't too filthy where all the glare is going to make it really bad because then I'm going to have to hold the phone out the window in these freezing temperatures, which is okay. You guys are going to get a little wind sound, but it's beautiful. It's worth it. I'll show you guys where I parked waiting for the smallest little chance of snow to come through town expecting it not to but it did after I searched for two straight days up and down this whole town back and forth half tank of gas I'll show you where I where I parked and I got here 15 minutes before it started I just waited patiently until the little area of precipitation was hopefully going to come through and it did so right here this little pull out right here on the right hand side that's where I was chilling and it started snowing that's where I caught the first snow of the season right there It is going to be 
be so beautiful. fishermen out here today. So pretty. Wow, that is so magnificent, you guys. I wish you all were here with me. Just gorgeous. Coming into fawn skin right now. There's no one behind me, so I'm gonna go slow right here around this curve. Maybe pull out a little bit. Hopefully, I don't go over the edge.
Here she comes. So good. All right, the sun is fully above the mountain. We'll give it another 60 seconds and then we'll take the rest of the cruise. Look at the moon up there, right in the middle of your screen. That little dot up there. Welcome sun to Big Bear this morning. Welcome my son.
right, guys. That was pretty cool, huh? Let's see if I can get a little sun in the background. Oh yeah. How cool is that? And we didn't have one single car pass us. How cool is that? That's even cooler, I think, than not er, than the sunrise. And I keep on saying sunset, I think. I apologize about that. I'm not trying to do that on purpose. Let's get out of here. So we're gonna drive through Fawn Skin. And coming up here on the left-hand side, you guys, our good friends Jackie and Shadow, the beautiful bald eagles that live up here and have a camera right next to them you guys can always watch them <laughs> if you want I think it's so awesome to see those two birds all the time I just don't know how I feel about like that close of human interaction because they're right up here somewhere But I know people love it. I absolutely love it as well. I mean, absolutely love it. Okay, we're going through fawn skin right now, you guys. Don't blink because you'll miss it. And we're coming up to Grout Creek as well. We're gonna go extra slow because there's no one behind us to pass Grout Creek. Maybe get a nice sunrise view if we're lucky or not. It's not gonna happen right here, but this is Grout Creek tributary right here. It's one of my favorite places to go when we have some snow because there's a nice waterfall right there. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's something else. like right now it smells like someone's making s'mores it's that nice fireplace smell with a little bit of sweetness to it it's so great temperature 29 degrees I knew it would get colder out here 29 degrees it's a nine degree difference from this far end of town compared to the other side which is pretty amazing because the sun's shining over here like I look like Ted Kaczynski those of you who are my age and older you'll know who that is with the glasses the hoodie and everything Ted Kaczynski my friends I can't use his nickname because you'll probably get in trouble on YouTube for saying that word
at that view. So pretty. I said we're driving through Fonskin right now. We are almost out of Fonskin. So it was 29 degrees just a minute ago. Let's see what it's gonna be once we get back to Stanfield Cutoff. I'll bet you it'll be 37 degrees at Stanfield Cutoff, which isn't far from here. Highway 38, aka North Shore. And we've done almost a complete valley. There's still one more beautiful part, which is gonna be across Stanfield Cutoff. And also just prior to that, we're gonna get some, some decent views of Snow Summit from across the lake. That's always a very beautiful shot. It's about to get bright again. Just just a minute here. enjoy cruising with me I love doing this I love doing it for you guys getting pretty close to the end remember guys if you guys like what i'm doing please help me subscribe and hit the like button like button super important a lot of you know by now that the algorithm uh will push your videos to further reaches if uh, a lot more people are liking the videos so i'd really appreciate the help um thank you i i you guys see how much effort i put into this i'd really appreciate it thank you <laughs> thank you thank you all right, so we're just about done, but we're gonna cross Stanfield Cutoff, which is where we began the journey. And we turned right and went that direction at the beginning. So we're gonna take this very slowly and 
get some nice views on both sides of the lake. This is the very end of the lake here. And there's no one behind me, which is great. This side's also absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the sunrise drive today on December 3rd, 2023. Um, thanks again for everything. Thank you for leaving me beautiful comments, you guys. I love interacting with you all. It makes me so happy. It absolutely makes my day so great whenever I get to make a video and chat with you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys with all my heart. And please, please have a great rest of your day. Take care, guys. Peace out.